My name is uh, Eike Diaz Bruns. Um, I work at uh, Erasmus University of Rotterdam. I've worked there for about five years now. Um, I'm currently doing a PhD uh, that's focused on the sense of belonging of uh, diverse students in higher education. Um, and I have a background in educational sciences and a special kind of personal interest in diversity, equality related issues within education. I think diversity is a very broad term um, and it, yeah, it includes a lot of versions of diversity or a lot of uh, elements. Um, to me, uh, since I was young, my special interest has always been in ethnic and cultural diversity um, because I, yeah, when I was really young I had a friend who experienced quite a lot of struggle. I wanted to do something about it because I found it so um, unfair what I saw happening to her. And since then, yeah, I tried to always find within my education, but also my, uh, uh, how can you say it? Yeah, just uh, my personal experiences. I always tried to see how I could work with that issue because it was really close to my heart. I participated as a teacher. Um, I'm not part of the, the project development or organization, but mainly of the, um, yeah, the, the training. Because I'm already so interested in the topic, uh, a part of like, the, mainly the beginning was not completely new to me. But what was new to me is um, that I realized that I actually hit some of my uh, identity parts. For example, um, I'm married to a woman and I realized that sometimes that's something that I kept hidden. That's, that was also an issue like what parts of your identity do you show uh, to your students and what parts do you keep hidden. So that for me was quite something I knew I, I did that sometimes but it was really, yeah, that came up really clearly. So that was to me very valuable. Um, and what I realized is because we, uh, we were in a team where not everyone found inclusion or diversity an important topic, that that's something that's really complex and that even though, for example, you have eight of the nine people who participate who feel that diversity is important, yeah, that it takes a lot to discuss it with that one colleague who doesn't, for example, and that that's not something you can solve easily, um, that yeah, that, that's quite a complex issue. And yeah, I, I felt that we as a team had to work after the team teacher reflection, that was something we had to work on more because that's not, yeah, that, that stayed on my mind uh, afterwards. So what I think is necessary for lecturers to make um, their uh, classes or the university more inclusive, I think uh, it starts at the front where you have to have more awareness of your own uh, vision or your own, yeah, maybe your own uh, prejudice, your, your, yeah, the way you view diversity. Because I think if you go uh, beyond that and you're forced to do something, then students will notice that it's not sincere or that it's, and you don't know how to really deal with uh, issues when they come up. So I think that's really where it needs to start. And then, yeah, I think it, it, it requires a very critical and active uh, way of looking at all your elements. So not only, for example, your materials that you use, but also your teaching styles, if the ways of learning of students, yeah, if that, those are included. What I would like to say to other lecturers um, that the participating in a team teacher reflection is very valuable and that you should take it really serious and not as something that, oh, maybe if I have time I will do it, but because I think a university at the core, yeah, it's, it's focused on research, but it's maybe more importantly focused on education and your students are at the center of it and those students will be part of like the next generations of the workforce and uh, yeah, wherever, but very much so in Rotterdam, um, the student population is very diverse. So uh, focusing together on this issue and, and talking with your colleagues and, 
and stay talking with your colleagues about how you deal with that. I think, yeah, I think that should be an element of every team or every kind of, yeah, lecture force because it's it's so relevant.